Hey guys, this is Excalibur IT and in this tutorial, I'll help you to start with streaming. Um, I'm gonna tell you the most basic methods to start streaming right now. Uh, I won't be going into the advanced details yet. Uh, this is just to get you started with the simple things like Streamlabs and Restream. So initially, as you can see on my screen, uh, you have to uh, download this software called Streamlabs. You can go to streamlabs.com and also uh, any links which I'll be mentioning in the video will be in the description below. So as soon as you go to streamlabs.com, you can download it. We are going to wait. So it's already downloaded for me. It's around 244 MB. And as soon as you download, install it and it'll look something like this. So as you can see, this is your dashboard. Um, it has like five sections as you can see the preview. Uh, this is the mini feed when you go live. The scenes, the sources and the mixer. So let me help you set up the very basic uh, Streamlabs setup here. So uh, you need to add a scene, which is, uh, you can see it's already added, you can add it by clicking on this plus icon. And then when the scene is ready, you have to add your sources. So basically, if you want something uh, to be shown on your stream, you need to add a source for it. So uh, you can select display capture. Display capture is basically the uh, monitors which you have. So whatever is being displayed on your monitor will be captured as it says. So uh, I'm just gonna name it uh, my capture or you can let it be as it was. As you can see it is exactly showing uh, the Streamlabs which is on my monitor right now. This is your resolution. Press done and voila it, you can see uh, it's capturing. And on the right you can see that as I speak um, it is taking up the input. The volume levels are rising. If I close it it goes away. So these two can be uh, you know configured using your uh, audio settings. Let this be default device one and the mic auxiliary device one be default. If you have more than two mics uh, connected to your PC, um, you can use that uh, option here. As you can see, I have my gaming headset. Uh, it has a mic in its own. Plus, this is the mic, so I'll be using this. But uh, the default is basically what your system is taking right now as your primary communication device. So let it be default. Okay. So this is this part is done. Your Streamlabs is done. So one more thing, before you, uh, when you start Streamlabs, it's uh, it'll ask you to log in uh, with either of your YouTube, Facebook, or any of the accounts. Currently, I'm uh, connected to my Xcali account, which is my YouTube account. And in this tutorial, I'll be helping you how to stream to YouTube specifically, right? So now the next step is to configure uh, Restream. So you can go to Google.com and search for Restream and then restream and this is a platform where you can stream on uh, like facebook twitch and a lot of stuff a uh, lot of areas simultaneously so when you go here and you log in you come to this page so this is my uh, dashboard so i won't be telling you exactly the whole how restream works i'm just gonna help you to start streaming immediately so as soon as you go in um, you log in with your YouTube account uh, or sorry you log in with your restream account which it will ask you to create um, you can uh, basically uh, select the channel like you have to add channel here and select uh, where's YouTube you can use uh, YouTube stream and once you click that it will come here okay now uh, this is the important step now as you can see here there is something called stream key right so the stream key I'm not gonna show it on the uh, <laughs> recording but you, you need to copy it just copy it and this step is very important go to your stream labs and then go to settings go to stream okay so initially it will look something else okay uh, you just need to select the stream type as uh, restream.io.rtmp okay let the server be in auto detect after this you just need to double click here paste it okay i'm not going to show that key is very uh, you know security concerns so you just need to paste it and click on done right that's it. Now, all you have to do is log into your uh, YouTube account. Okay, make changes to your like. I'll show you. Now, if I go to my YouTube account here, yep. If you go to your YouTube account, this is my dashboard. If you know about YouTube Studio, you will understand what I'm doing. Now, you go to videos and go to live. Your stream should come up here, right? It should come up here, and you can just change the details. You can change the details, you can, uh, you know, add some thumbnail, you can add description and everything. Also, you can do the same thing from here. Now, if you uh, like, now change it to like, let me see, uh, helping my viewers with streaming. Right? So, if I update all, 
let's see how restream works it automatically configures your uh, next streaming title description not the thumbnail you need to go to youtube for the thumbnail let me refresh here see it has updated helping my viewer the streaming so this is how youtube stream labs and uh, restream are connected now as soon as i click on go live which i don't want to do right now uh, it'll go live and uh, it will show you what's behind i mean whatever is being displayed on your monitor uh, what about legend of frontera so you gotta do this as you can see it is showing exactly what's behind but if what if you want to capture the particular disp uh, window so you go to window capture okay add source uh, window capture and then select right client right so it will start showing the client here so so Streamlabs is basically easy you do uh, you can work with all the other display captures here you have the video capture this video capture i won't on it because it's currently recording my uh, video in the right side but yeah so there are a lot of captures you can explore uh, if you want i can make an in-depth advanced uh, tutorial for Streamlabs to you know uh, to do all those transitions which i should do in my live streams uh, so yep that is all and uh, this is the most basic way to go live on YouTube right now. Streaming is really hyped. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, and you don't have to do much to start streaming. But if you want to get into advanced stuff, I can help you. Let Just let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, peace. Thank you.